There's an Oyadagua. I, I, I was, I've filmed them before, but I wanted to find one. If I muddy the water up, it'll clear real quick. And you can see by the bubble on the top that makes it look a little bit like an eyeball. Uh, it's coming under some pressure. So it's a spring of sorts. Now why it's doing that instead of just running on the surface, I don't know because I mean, I'm introducing water, maybe you can see up there through the irrigation. But see, this is different. That's actually being held down and then popping up. It's an Oyadagua. You're going to hear more about them because I'm always searching for them. Oh, and I, I forgot to say that I've said it elsewhere, but Oyu means I, and Di means of, and Agua means water. I of water. It's it's set pretty much in Spanish <clears throat> and certainly in Portuguese. This might you might enjoy seeing. I, I followed the piglets because there's a spot somewhere down here where they where three of them got out and one nearly got hit on the road. Uh, that was about two days ago. Now I fixed the fence and they're pretty respectful of the fence but they I found a, a couple of spots where they could go under without touching it. Uh, and then they scrambled right up the cliff. I mean, this is essentially a cliff. It's the mine face right by the road. But anyway, this is what they're most happy doing. When they came running, and when I put them over here and they ate the corn that was down there, and as soon as it was pretty much gone, they came running for this spot, these little ones. I thought, aha, they think they're going to go up the bank again. So I followed them. Well, this is what they're doing. There's only seven of them here on the way. See, he's touching the fence. That should have shocked him. I'll have to walk the fence more. I mean, it will if they get right on it. But... Aha, it shocked him. Okay. Now I'm following this bunch. There's an eighth one right over there. Uh, as they're heading on up the fence now. And it's not as if they're trying to get out. It's just that the eating is real good here for some reason because, you know, grubs or whatever. Uh, but I want to say something about pigs. Keeping them in, if you're at all diligent with your fencing, is really not that hard. One wire, and maybe two at the most, if you have two sizes of pigs, does it. And when they get out, unlike cows or horses who want to just head for the other neighbors fields and go off on a run and uh, or for them, they wouldn't go to the mountain but pigs they like to stay close to home uh, they will get out but they're different and goats are a little bit like that too they they don't they know where home is and it's not their goal to escape right here's a spot that I'm gonna have to put an extra wire, a short wire. See, there's a fallen tree across here that I went over. And, but, but that's, I'm gonna have to run a wire under it as well, I think, because that, if they find that, they'll be able to get under that. Now, the bigger pigs, no. You see, they're going along the fence and they're not actually looking for a place to get out. It's just that they're going where the eating's good. And if the fence, doesn't stop them well then they'll keep going and sometimes they'll get out out and don't know how to get back they don't maliciously try to get out like I think sometimes cows goats and horses will or at least cows and horses <laughs> 